Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a really short video, sort of a semi-bonus surprise to the uh, Unmodded Elite uh, series. I was originally planning to do this as the beginning of the next series uh, with the modded version. However, uh, I am not competent enough to figure out how to smoothly transition from doing the, the part that I'm about to do and then going straight to the game. It's just a, uh, it's a lot of work that I don't want to deal with right now. So, uh, well, it's not a lot of work. It's just more work than I have done to do this part. And this was pretty much as far as I wanted to go. So this here is just an image of uh, my current setup. Uh, what I normally have uh, in front of me when I'm playing most of my spacey games. Uh, so what you'll see here is this is my touch portal uh, right here. If I can do a little... That's my iPad, which has a touch portal uh, display set up on there, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And then I have a Logitech SciTech X56 uh, Hotas, which uh, right here and here. And then I've got my and then I've got my keyboard right down there. So basically, this is my setup. And this central piece, uh, the touch portal, is uh, what I use to put all the buttons that I can't put onto my uh, two uh, devices, my two controllers. Uh, so that is, uh, that's what that is. Um, and let me see now if this is gonna work. Uh, hopefully that's right. Maybe, okay. Uh, we, we shall see if this worked. So this is my layout for my stick of my uh, X56. Uh, as I may have mentioned, as I, I may have mentioned in the in uh, season one, and maybe mentioned in the beginning of this series, uh, I can't seem to get the throttle half of my device to work with the uh, with the game. So I just have the stick, uh, which is fine. Uh, it, it it works. So I've got my Taurus autopilot, which drive and docking up here on this hat. Uh, I've got ECM, which I always forget that I have. I have uh, targeting missiles, next target, and to toggle the ID, the uh, ident on this hat. Uh, I have my uh, uh, thrust up and thrust down, so basically accelerate and decelerate here uh, on this hat. Uh, and I have to do it there because I can't put it on the throttle. And then my uh, space compass next, my prime equipment. Uh, my switch equipment is over here, um, and then my primary weapon, and my secondary weapon, which is the missiles, and then the cycle through the secondary weapons, the missiles and so forth. And then I just have a bunch of uh, other pieces of information here. If I want to use the key, the, the hotkeys, uh, I just have my views are listed here, docking computer, blah, 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 all that stuff is, is all in here. I generally don't need to worry about the stuff on the outer edge because I have the touch portal which if uh, I can do two for two, let's see if I can switch over there. And hopefully that worked. Okay, so this is the touch portal, which is really the thing I wanted to talk about. So this, what you're seeing now, matches exactly what's on the screen on the image on the iPad that was in the beginning of the video. So this is all of the buttons that I set up. Uh, I've got my views here, forward, aft, port, starboard, and external. Then I have my Taurus drive, witch drive, and galactic jump. I don't use these here on the iPad that much because I do have them on the stick and I usually remember where they are on the stick. But if I ever forget where they are on the stick, I can just hit the keys here, hit the buttons. Traffic control request, docking computer, next MFB, MFD and cycle the MFD that is currently selected. Space compass, uh, uh, forward and back. Active, uh, activate ident, uh, the ident, uh, next target, target incoming, previous target. Weapon toggle, next missile, laser fire and missile fire. Again, I don't use these because I have the primary and secondaries. Prepare missiles, go to missile safe, fire ECM, show my manifest. And then I have prime equipment, equipment button one, equipment button two, and then equipment preset one and preset two. And then my cycling uh, of the radar zoom. Then I can dump cargo, hit my comm log, pause the game, or in this this button here is to go back to the main screen, which shows all of my uh, pages that I set up for different games. So if I do that from here inside this uh, program, so I have X4 Foundations, I have Free Space 2, I have Universal Combat, I have Evacron Legacy and 
Arbok Alliance, and I have Elite. And all of these are on different pages. So my Evacron one is here. I usually don't use this because most of my buttons actually are on the throttle and the stick. Uh, these are just here in case I, in case I forget where I put them. Uh, my Free Space 2 buttons. There's a whole lot of these for essentially the same reason as uh, I have a bunch of them for Elite because I can't use the throttle. Uh, the throttle doesn't work in um, in Free Space 2 because it is so freaking old of a game that um, USB didn't even really exist or it, it was very new when the game came out and there never had been any multi, uh, multi plug-in devices, right? So you have to kind of... I have, I have these and there's a lot of things in free space like a lot of options that you can do um, and then I've got my elite and then I have universal combat which is uh, a game I have not actually ever played but these are all the buttons that could do that and then finally my X4 foundations this is one of my earlier ones that I did back before I uh, found a good um, button set uh, I made these buttons by hand, which I, I wouldn't do that now, just because it's a lot of work. And I also don't use these because, again, I now have everything on my X56. But if we go back to here, we can take a look and see how these work. So they really are just hotkeys. So if I want to look at this button here, the Taurus button, this will activate the Taurus drive. I double click that. All it does is it just runs the key press, the letter J. And then as far as the button is concerned, I have my button text here and the size and the font. And then whether or not it is a full button or a little one. And then I can change the icon and I have this icon pack. Um, this is the RB Flight Sim pack and it has a whole bunch of different buttons here. But there are other ones like these or iTunes Media or Valorant icons. And so you can, you know, mix and match. You can also, of course, if you want, do what I did in that X4 one, which is create your own button and just import it from your computer. It works really, really well. It's it's a, it's an incredibly flexible piece of software. Uh, the other thing you can do here is increase the grid size. So right now I have an 8x5 grid, but I could do a 9x5 or a 10x5 and so on change the grid margin, button spacing, group the buttons together or, or don't, uh, maximize the button space or don't, uh, and do all sorts of different things like that. Uh, you can have buttons that cross over grids, so you can have huge buttons alongside smaller buttons. The, uh, the demo version of Touch Portal lets you have a main page and a second page, so you can have two pages, and it lets you only have a four by two grid, so you could do essentially this much, but it would take up the full screen. Uh, and so basically whatever show, whatever I have set up here is immediately transferred to my iPad because it's just on a, uh, essentially a Wi-Fi connection to the computer. And so it just loads this up and I can refresh it if it doesn't update directly automatically, but usually it does update almost immediately. And then I can just use the buttons and I can adjust this on the fly. I can like help tab out to here, adjust what I need and then immediately gets updated on the iPad and then I can change it. So when I do testing, when I start creating this um, portal panel, I go into the game, I figure out what my key buttons are, uh, I go in here and start adding them in one at a time, making sure they work and so on. Uh, there are a bunch of other options that I can do to use it for things other than games, like running batch files, opening files, opening folders, PowerShell scripts, going to websites, different kinds of input, uh, locking the computer and stuff. And so it's, it's designed for a whole bunch of variety of things, but mainly I, since I only use it for games, it's mostly just doing key presses. So that is, uh, that's that. And that basically is what I wanted to show everybody in this video. Uh, I know it's a short one, it's about 10 minutes long, but that was uh, something that people were asking about. I was like, what does my setup look like? Well, uh, that is what it looks like. It looks like that. And as you can see, that is my uh, Elite Touch Portal here. And if I uh, switch back to my main, I can select different options, select the different pages and switch to different games. Uh, and that's what I do. So uh, yeah, I hope this was useful. Uh, I do uh, really strongly recommend Touch Portal. Uh, obviously, uh, if you really want something with tactile feedback, you're gonna wanna go with like a Stream Deck or uh, a handmade Arduino or something like that. Those are all really great options. I have nothing against them, um, but I wanted the flexibility, the, the extreme flexibility 
at a low cost. Plus, I already had an iPad, so why not? Uh, and uh, you can use um, you can use uh, Touch Portal on Windows or Mac uh, as your uh, as your server, effectively, right? Uh, and you can do you can have the uh, the reader uh, the the part that you actually touch the the I don't want to say the reader the display can be on an iPad it can be on an iPhone or it can be on an Android device so you can do you know a Mac Android combo Windows uh, or Android combo or Mac and iPad, whatever whatever you want to do so it is available. Um, so yeah, that, that is highly recommended. I'll put a link to it in this video uh, so you can see where that comes from. Uh, I'll also put a link to um, the uh, display. Uh, this one here is only one half of uh, the template. So I, I will put a link to the full template. It's on a website for the DCS uh, flight simulator game. And it's just basically blank. And you can just edit it directly. It's a PDF that you can go in and edit and put things in here so that uh, if for some reason you've forgotten what your buttons are, which happens to me all the time, you can kind of either print it out, have it alongside you, or do what I do for most games that don't where I don't use my touch portal. Like for example, uh, in uh, X4 Foundations, uh, since like I was saying, I I generally don't use whoops don't use this screen very much anymore, uh, but I do use my throttle and stick a lot, so I just have that PDF. Uh, the full PDF of my X4 uh, settings on my iPad in front of me at all times. It makes it easy so I don't forget. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.